Hey guys, so I thought I'd sneak in one final session uh, before I have a session with the owner tomorrow. Just to, because yesterday we did quite a bit and it went uh, very well. Today I just want to introduce the crop to him uh, so that she's able to correct him when he's, he's starting to get a little bit lazy. And I want to just make sure that he's, he's good with that. Um, so, I've already done just probably about three or four minutes of groundwork just to get him moving. But really haven't, haven't done much with him today, apart from saddle him. And he's a bit, uh, again, he's a little bit heavy on the breathing, as if he's worried about something. Um, but I'm not going to do too much. I'm actually just going to get on him and, and see how we get, because again, I'm trying to simulate what this guy's going to be going through uh, normally when, you know, the grooms go to saddle him up and, and uh, you know, take him out of his stable and maybe the owner gets on without any kind of groundwork. And eventually he's going to be good with all this, but for today... I just want to make sure that there's uh, no uh, dark areas in his mind that would show up if I don't do that much groundwork. So we'll keep him in that state and see how it goes. I'll put my foot in, allow him to catch his balance there. One, two, three. Yep. So I don't like that. He moved off when I got on, so I wait until he stops his feet, and then I get off. I remove the pressure. One, two, three. He's moving. Easy. Get off. Good boy. One, two, three. Good. Get off. Now, if you have a horse and you find that they've developed this habit of walking off as soon as you start to get in the saddle, just remember that it's up to you to fix the problem initially. So you hop on, you wait until he stops, and then you get off. You hop on, you wait until he stops, and then get off, releasing that pressure from him when he's doing the right thing. Um, so you get that problem fixed initially. But then, afterwards the maintenance really is up to you as well so being pretty specific with the horse and consistent with the horse so that every time you get on him you get on him and you wait one of the horse trainers i used to follow quite a bit used to say as soon as you get on be in a hurry to go absolutely nowhere you know Spend the first minute or two maybe just flexing the horse even without asking for any movement in the leg. So, thinks I mean go, I don't mean go. Release. He thinks I mean go, I do not mean go. Easy, bud. Easy, easy, easy. Easy. I just mean flex. Let's help you get rid of those, some of those flies, eh? There we go. Okay. I'm not going to do too much of this. Because, again, this is not what the owner, I'm sure, is going to be doing with them every time. Let's just... Let him walk off. So he feels like he's about to trot immediately. So because I've done a lot less groundwork with him, he's a little bit fresher today. That's how I feel anyway. He's willing to go. He wants to go. He wants to do something. Because he's still, you know, think of it as this. If your horse is doing something that is not entirely what you want him to be doing and he feels distracted don't really think of that as energy in the horse okay 
like he's got too much energy he needs to we need to tire him out a little bit think of that as a horse being just distracted thinking what am i gonna what is that sound over there what is that thing moving over there oh I, I smelt my my friends in the in the distance oh i fre i heard uh something move somewhere and he's always going to be paying attention to something else apart from you so your job is really not to stop him from doing all that is to just s sort of ask a lot of questions and what do i mean by that it's like changes of direction changes of speed changes of gait sometimes you bend sometimes you go bend to the left sometimes you bend to the right until he starts to think okay well what's coming next there's no logic to this and then he starts to rate back to you and wait for he's sort of anticipating what you're going to ask next and once you've got the horse in that state of mind they should be a lot more um they should feel a lot uh, more cautious with their movement if that makes sense so you start to feel that the horse is is walking a little bit slower he's not so jerky with his with uh, you know with with his head if he's looking left and right and he's got his head and neck all the way up you'll start to feel that they do start to rate back to you a little bit So here I haven't given him much consistency in terms of what we're meant to be doing. As you see, I went left, I went right, I went left, I went right, I went left, I went left, and then I held him on a circle to the left. So he doesn't really know what's coming and what I'm going to be asking of him. And that's good. Good. So I'm going to try to keep the session really uh, as short as, as possible as I can today. Because, like I said, I just want to make sure that he's respectful to the leg cues. He's uh, the lesson from yesterday is sunk in, and that he's not going to give his owner any trouble tomorrow morning when I ask her to get on him. Okay, so done a little bit of that. I'm going to go straight into trot. So cluck cluck. Good boy. Now, if I do feel like he's going to do something silly. I've always, we've done quite a bit of work well, yesterday to say, no, like there, I didn't ask for the canter, I just asked for a trot, and he took off in the canter, so here, slow him down a little bit, good, ask him for the trot. So pretty reactive. So a very different horse to what I worked with yesterday. Very different. A lot more forward going today. Let's work with that and see if it's something that I think is relatively safe for the young owner. If I feel like this energy is unmanageable relatively easily, then I'm not going to be super happy at giving him back until we've calmed him down again. And working with horses is really, it's, it's a lot about balance, balance in everything that you do. So when we initially got him, his initial uh, problem was that he wasn't responsive. He was stubborn and at the same time he would spook at things so overall what ended up happening is she stopped riding him she doesn't enjoy the whole process she's she feels nervous about riding him she doesn't trust him so what did we have to go and do we needed to go and show him what these leg cues meant but only after establishing some kind of a basic level of a bond between us. And that bond has to be based on respect 
and don't trust. So respecting my suggestions and my questions without having the fear of being punished. So here we go. So this is quite manageable from my perspective. Two minutes of trotting until he just gets into the swing of things. That's not bad at all. Slow him down, bend him, or you can even think of turning him. So what, I, what, what, I, what was I talking about when I was talking about balance? So initially we needed to get him to understand, to respond to the slightest suggestion that I'm asking him to go. And yesterday you saw that, you know, we worked on that. Today, immediately, as soon as I get on his back, if I give him any sort of indication that he thinks he, he should go, he's immediately going, which is a good sign. It means that he's learned something new. He's, you know, displayed a different behavior um, and it's moving in the right direction. But now, because I feel like he's over-responsive, you need to go back in there and dull him a little bit. So balancing the whole thing. Again, you don't want that cue to be too, um, you, you don't want him to be too responsive to the cue because, you know, uh, then he's pretty, a pretty difficult ro horse to ride. But at the same time, you don't want him to be so dull that you've got to kick him and whip him every time just to ask him to go. That's good. You slow him down. Good. Some of you might be watching and thinking, man, I, I you know, it, it looks good, but I, I hate uh, bending my horse a lot. And honestly, every time I want to stop him or slow him down, you know, I end up sort of bending him to the left or bending him to the right. And I don't like that. And I'm here to give you another, you know, tool that you could use is use transitions. So transition from walk to trot and then a transition from trot to walk and then transition from walk to trot. Transition from trot to walk. Okay. And then walk to trot. Again, what does that do? That gets him to rate back to me a little bit. Understand that there's something coming. Every time I ask you to go, you know, a few strides, I'm going to ask you to do something different within those few strides. So I'm going to ask you to trot, and then I'm going to ask you to walk. I'm going to ask you to trot, and I'm going to ask you to walk. So again, I'm sort of saying, hey, come back to me. Stay with me. Stay with me here. Yeah, this time I'm going to walk, and then I'm going to bend. Walk, and then bend. And now I'm going to ask him for the trot. Incredibly light on my legs now. It's very, very nice. Okay. Now we're gonna go straight into canter. Good boy. Good. Now I'm gonna ask him back to a trot, just by relaxing in my seat a little bit. And now I'm gonna ask him to come down to a walk. Just with a little bit of help, I start off with my seat, and then I ask him a little bit of help with the reins. Just hold that pressure. So I'm gonna to go to a stop now, and then we're gonna to go to a canter. I'm just gonna wait until he gives a little bit with his nose. We did a bit of this yesterday. There. Give. Now canter. Oh, wrong lead. It's okay. Wrong lead. Stop. Drop that. Good. 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 
Good boy. Very nice. So to continue this work, really, the owner needs to figure out how to refine everything. For me, I'm not here to fix everything and give a finished horse back. That'll never do anything wrong. We're here to really fill in the big holes in uh, the communication, you know. Good boy. And then it's up to the owner to refine them and make the horse feel the way she wants him to feel. And of course, I'm always willing to jump in with whatever I notice if, if she ever wants to ask or needs a little bit of help with anything. In Arabic we say, ala rasi, min ayuni. Okay. Good boy. Let's ask for a canter on this side. Good boy. I'm gonna give you guys a bonus today because what I'm gonna be working on a little bit. See if we can teach him the concept of moving his shoulders off my legs because I don't like how unbalanced he is and he needs to be able to um, understand when I'm guiding his shoulders with my legs and shaping his head and neck a little bit so he's not falling into these turns so that he can just sort of um, bend his body into the, the same radius as the circle that we're doing. And it's not a difficult concept to teach. So hopefully, whoa, we'll be able to get that done today. At least give him a bit of a concept. But initially, right now, I need him to understand just to chill a little bit. Whoa, that's it. So I don't need that at all. Okay, so the way that we're gonna do this is as he's walking on loose rein, as he's walking on loose rein, I'm gonna pick up the, the, let's say I'm walking down the fence over here. Okay. Slow. Just walk. Just walk. So let's say I'm walking down the fence this way. Okay. I'm gonna pick up this outside rein, tip his head and nose just a little bit to the outside. And then I'm gonna move my right leg, my outside leg, um, forwards towards his shoulders and then just push push on his shoulders and keep that pressure with my calf or my heel on his shoulder almost even you could even tap the elbow with your foot if you liked just to kind of get the the, the concept um, into his mind and then what I'm looking for is for the outside front leg to cross over the out the uh, the inside front leg so the outside right over the inside left and then once he gives me one step in that direction i'm going to release so here's the outside rein and then i'm going to push with my right leg i'm going to push with my right leg i'm going to have to help him figure it out here push with my right leg push with my right leg and when I say pushes it's honestly nothing just keeping that pressure on all right keep the head bent there okay that's something we're gonna give him that don't really care if it's perfect or not so I'm gonna pick up on this rein put my right leg on Bend his head a little bit to this. There. There we go. Very ugly to start with. 
and that's okay. Outside rein, outside leg. Outside rein, outside leg. Outside rein, outside leg. He has not got the, an idea what this means. That's fine. There we go. Any sort of try. Okay, sort of getting it. There we go. Good boy. An incredibly useful tip with this exercise is to time a pull and release with the uh, with the outside rein to coincide with the step of his outside uh, leg. Imagine as if the this right rein is tied to his right foot, and you want to lift that rein when his right foot is, is coming off the ground and drop that rein when the foot is coming back down to the ground. So it's like a bump, release, pull, 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 pull, release, pull, release, pull, pull. There, that was very nice. So he did do quite a few steps there, which is perfectly fine. Again, pull, release, bump, release, pull, release, pull, release, pull, pull, release, pull, pull, release, pull. I'm going to let him, if he feels like he thinks, or he thinks he should go in a circle, I'm going to let him now until he takes that step to the outside. Good boy. Ready? Up there. There. There, come on, there, again, nope, nope, front leg, front leg, there we go. So I'm going to be working on this side of his body the entire time, yeah, or initially for now. There, release it, ready? step without throwing your head and neck up that would be wonderful there we go that's okay if that's what you can do then that's what we'll take bend the head to the outside a little bit tip the nose to the outside no 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 let's see if we can help him out here so we'll put him on this kind of a circle and then push him to the outside there and then let him go back in on the circle and then push him to the outside good S similar concept we're still getting that right front to cross over front left while his head is tipped to the right but it can be easier for him to do it this way there 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 there, good boy. Again. Yeah. So watch his front foot. Watch my right hand. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. There. That's perfect. Well done. Well done. Okay, gonna start it on the left side now. Let him think about that lesson on his right side. So pick up with the left hand now, push with my left leg. I need that one step to be relatively clear. There, there, there. Good boy. And remember, exaggerate to teach. So you'll see that my legs are all over the place. My hands are exaggerated in terms of the cues. Well done. And that's fine because you want to make it absolutely clear as to wh what you're asking for with the pressure. There we go. Good boy. Absolutely clear. Where is it that we want to go? Where? 
what do we need there oh that was wonderful that was wonderful that was really good that was really good now that he's got a beautiful one step on the left side gonna go back to this right side which is not so good there 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 Oop. Yeah, come on push to the outside push to the out there good boy push it push it good boy good boy now left side turn the circle now push him to the outside of that circle beautiful good boy good boy yeah there we go now right side bend him now push him to the outside push him to the outside good 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 okay let me come a little bit closer to the frame of that camera so that maybe i can make a little bit more sense if you can actually see what i'm doing so bend him to the right now this right leg is going to go forwards push 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 there that's okay we're going to do that again this outside leg here is going to go forwards and push on the shoulder there hopefully you can see that let's do that one more time so inside right leg on push bend push there 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 good boy let's bend this way okay now this leg is going to go forwards on his shoulders bend push 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 good boy left leg forwards and on there oh that was even better where he dips his nose in that is coming from his ribs yes because when he bends his ribs the right way there you go that's beautiful good boy that is nice well done What's up with you? Come on. Can you dip that nose in and carry yourself properly now? Can you? Can you carry yourself? Push, 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 push. I'm not going to let you go. Good. There. That was nice. Drop your head and nose again. Show me. Nope. 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 Not releasing. Figure it out. Come on. Just one nice step with the nose down. One nice step. Keep holding. Come on. One nice, there, well done. Push, 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 good boy. So we're gonna finish off. I'm gonna start over in that corner, come to walk towards the camera see if we can get him to go push his shoulders left and right towards you at least you can see um, relative to a straight line how much bend or how, how much of a step he's taking uh, and take something away from that again this is just the concept it's not the refined product so so just push into the le le left lift Okay, terrible. I'm gonna push him again. Start that one again. I didn't like that. Good boy. Okay. Let's try. Push to the left. Good boy. Push to the right. Nope. Push to the right. There. Good. 
push to the left. Anyway, pretty bad, but at least it's something. Okay, and then we're just going to ask him to stand still, and that's going to be the end of the session for him. Can you stand still, buddy? Good boy. Good boy. Can you give with that nose? Good boy. You don't need to go anywhere. Can you stand still? And give with that nose. Stand still. Give with that nose. Good boy. Nope. Stand still. Give with that nose. Give with that nose. There we go. Stand still. Give with that nose. There we go. Don't walk off though. Don't walk off. No need. There we go. No need to walk off. Good boy. What a gorgeous horse you are. Stand still and drop with that head and neck. Stop. Wait, 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 wait. There. That's all right. Anyway, I think you're pretty safe. I think you're a good, responsive boy. Um, one thing that we're going to do uh, just as a little bonus for him is I'm going to work with my stick and string on his back legs because yesterday you remember that he um, was still moving when I was using my my reins uh, to sort of throw the, 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 the end of my Mikati reins around his legs today I think he'd really benefit if I could get some kind of a, uh, a rope or a string to wrap around those back legs uh, so that we can really um, expose those insecurities that he's got. I don't know where it comes from, but it doesn't matter. It's there. We don't ask why. Or sorry, we don't ask how <laughs> did he become like this. We just ask, well, what could be the possible causes? And the cause is for sure a lack of trust. So that's the, the small hole that we need to fill each and every day. Keep putting more and more into that trust bucket. And this can be done relatively quickly or it could be done slowly. It could be done based on the need of of uh, the situation or it could be based on the need of the horse really the approach is entirely up to the whole situation that's okay i'm gonna keep my left hand up here to stop him from turning to face me and escape the pressure that way. He needs to learn that all this yielding is not going to get him anywhere. It's just a bit of hard work for him. And at the same time, he's realizing that he's not getting hurt. Okay, so he's going to start looking for an answer. What is that answer? The answer is stand still. Chew and lick your lips. Well done, buddy. Well done, buddy. Just putting a little extra into your trust bucket here today. That's okay. That's okay. Good boy. Good boy. 
Good boy. This is very nice. The twitchy as you can still see sometimes when I stop and then I start again. He has a little bit of a re reaction, but he's able to, to manage his emotions there and say, I'm willing to, to give this a go and trust this guy. This is something that everybody's gonna have to uh, keep doing with him for the next few days. If it was my horse, I'd keep doing it in the next few weeks as well. So that that bucket of trust is overflowing. Keeping the whole balanced uh, approach in mind. So if he starts to get dull again, then hey, we'll have to fill in more of that respect bucket. Good boy. Excellent. Very nice. Well, I guess that's the end of the road for our little adventure with Mr. Rocket here. I am looking forward to tomorrow um, and we'll try to get it on camera uh, and get you some of the feedback from the owner. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.